What is going on everyone? I hope you all won the lottery today or whenever the last lottery was. So I downloaded iOS 13.2 beta 1 onto my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Still can't get used to that name, oh well. But this update brought something that I was super excited about and it's the feature that I saw during the keynote, which is Deep Fusion. So to make it quick, Deep Fusion pretty much takes four really quick pictures and then it takes one long exposure and then it takes four uh, secondary images. Pretty much, and then in, in, in a span of a second, the phone goes through 23 million pixels and pretty much picks the best one out of each pixel and puts it into the image, literally in a blink of an eye. It's, it's mind blowing. The only thing I wish is that for Apple to add some sort of indicator that tells us when Deep Fusion is actually working, when it's actually being used, similar to night mode, but as of right now in this first beta of Deep Fusion, we simply just don't know when it's working. Except, I did watch a video from Max Tech. he actually explained it. If you take a picture and you go straight into the preview window after you take the picture, you will see the picture do a little jump. If you see that jump, that means it is Deep Fusion. That jump pretty much means that the image is processing. So if you do not see the jump, you most likely are using night mode or you're shooting in very bright daylight. So for this comparison, I'm going to be using my trusty Note 10 Plus alongside the obviously iPhone 11 Pro Max. So let's get started. So if we look at these two images of this drawing, which I definitely did not do, on the right, you will see the Note 10, on the left, the iPhone. Again, at face value, you guys, some of you might already notice a difference, but if you guys don't, let's take a closer look. If we zoom in to the root of the plant, you can see incredible detail on the iPhone. I mean, you can, you can even see the, the, the little uh, indentions of the, uh, of the paper. You can see more of the root. The, the stem is just uh, very, very sharp. I mean, this, isn't, this is a drawing, so you know, take that for what you will. But again, you can just see way, way, way more detail on the iPhone like never before. Now in this next image, this is probably, this is probably my favorite image that I took with uh, Deep Fusion. <laughs> if you look at this overall image, again, if you look at the, at the white mat on the desk, you can see those dimples much clearer. If you look at the moon, again, you can see much more detail. And even on the teddy bear itself, you can see just an incredible amount of detail. iPhone Deep Fusion is, is really hard at work here. And again, if we zoom in to the moon, the, the, the difference becomes even more obvious. I mean, you can see just way more of the, uh, of the craters, I guess you want to say. And uh, the note just really kind of, um, kind of just, it looks, it looks like it's painted on almost. You can still see the dimples on the note, but just not as much detail as it was on the iPhone. Once we zoom into the teddy bear's face, as you guys can see, the color reproduction on the iPhone is just mind blowing with that deep fusion. You can see almost every little strand of hair. Now, as you guys know, taking pictures of your black pets is very kind of hard because uh, once you take a picture of, of a black dog or a black cat or whatever kind of black pet you have, it's super hard to really get into those details. So this is what makes this picture, you'll see, you'll see. I have no words for this. Uh, look at the wall in the background. You can see just way, way, way more detail on the wall. You can see more detail on the cat. You can even see almost pretty much the wood on the ground as opposed to the note. The note just really loves to smooth those images. And if we zoom in closer, the, the detail difference becomes even more apparent. Look at look on the iPhone. Look at his eyes. Look at his whiskers. Look at look at his nose. Uh, even the, the hair on top of his ear, and again, that wall in the background. The iPhone is just really, really, really impressing me. Now in this next image uh, of these light switches, you can see much more detail again on the iPhone's wall photo, on, on, the, on the wall in the background. You can see every little, every little indention, every little just detail. Meanwhile, on the Note, it did, a, it did a super good job on the actual light switches. They're nice and white. Uh, nothing is overexposing as far as I can see on the note. The switches themselves look really good, but the overall detail is lost dramatically on the note. And if we zoom in again, you see that little dot on the wall. You can even see the paint brush strokes from when they were painting the house on the iPhone photo. 
you can see the actual brush, uh, the actual brush strokes. That's insane. And again, on the note, it just really smoothed all that over. So guys, that was just a quick little test of uh, Deep Fusion. It's still in its first beta and it's performing this good. Now you guys are probably saying, well, Mark, if you have to zoom in to really notice a difference, then there's really no difference. Wrong. You can, I mean, listen, I'm looking at this on a 5K monitor, so I can definitely tell a difference. But even when looking at a, on a 1080p screen, well, a little more than 1080p technically on the iPhone, or even more so if I look at it using my Note 10 Plus using Quad HD, you can definitely tell a detailed difference without even zooming in. Deep Fusion is one of those things that it's not supposed to make your photos just slap you in the face from being amazing. It's just supposed to take something that's great and make it just a little bit better. And that, and, and I mean, you, you guys saw it for yourselves. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Deep Fusion. Is it just a little gimmick, do you think? Do you think that many people won't even notice that it's there? Um, I'm, I'm kind of, on, I'm, I'm, I'm on both sides. It's great to have, but again, if you're not really into tech, if you're not, if you don't really know what to look for, you may not even, you may not notice that it's even working in the background. But when you take a little deep dive into it, you can definitely tell a difference and guys, I am still doing the giveaway. I'm giving away a phone when I reach 10,000 subscribers on, in, on Instagram. More information will be in the description of this video, so be sure to read that. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.